So now we have Raya knots. These are really cool because they create fringe in your piece. You can cut them really short and they look like little poofs. Um, they create a lot of shaggy effects. I'm gonna grab some yarn here. And this is a really fun technique to use with kind of crazy yarn. So you wanna cut however long you want your fringe to be and know that then you're gonna cut it in half or fold it in half, excuse me. Cut. So again, what I'm showing is just an example, but you can really run with it, put it in one place, put it all the way across the bottom. This is a great way to build fringe at the bottom of a piece. So I have just one length of yarn. I'm going to put my loom into the neutral setting. This originally was a tapestry technique. So in that a tapestry loom all is at one level, there's no different sheds. This technique works best when you bring your loom to neutral so that everything is at the same space. I'm gonna go in over the threads that I'm going to wrap around. So I'm going to use two on either side. I could use one and that would make it a smaller knot. I could use more six or seven, that would make it a bigger knot. Again, however you're gonna work. But I'm just gonna do around these four. I take my thread over, then I take the ends through the middle, and I pull down. So I'll do that again. I'm gonna do it in these two spaces. So I take my yarn, I bring the ends through the middle and pull down. And I could do more than one yarn at a time. And you don't even have to make it even. I'm going to do it two on one and one here. Through the middle and pull down. And what this then does is sort of group your warp threads into a cool pattern, and then you take whatever weft yarn you've been using, open your shed, and you can open it into the next place it's supposed to be. So you want to weave into the next space so you're not pulling the yarn out, and just beat down. And your weft will then again lock in these techniques. And as you weave a little bit, that warp spacing will even itself back out. So again, you could do this just in little spots. This is a great technique to use if you've woven something that you don't like and you want to hide it. You can just put some fringes over it. Nobody will see it. So you can also layer the fringes, which is really fun. Use a different yarn. So I'm gonna come in and use a few yarns. So I'm just going to come in over. I did three here, so now I'm going to do two. And I'm going to use half of this knot thread and half of this knot thread and just sort of come in in between those two. Oop, to go to neutral. Makes it much easier when you go to neutral. So bring those ends through the middle and pull down. And then again, I'm going to take those middle threads off the knots 
from below through the middle and pull down. And then open my shed back up and lock that in. Then you can decide aesthetically, do you like how long those fringes are? These are kind of uneven, so I can go into the top fringes and trim that. So that they're more the same length and shorter. And you can create some really cool layers that way. So that is the way to use Raya knots to put fringes right into your project. If you layer them and cut them really short, they stick up. So really play with the lengths of yarn that you use, the size of the knots you make, the layers that you use, and you can create all sorts of really cool shaggy-like fringe and texture in your piece. <laughs>